When, when the squad was first announced, were you generally pleased with the selection of Chiche? Yeah, everybody was uh, happy with uh, his selection. Richard was very which, happy. <laughs> <laughs> which, he's, been, he's been on fire though, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Which, uh, he, he struggled for Spurs, but another one of those players that seems to do better for his country, yeah. and whether he, he enjoys it a little bit more, or sometimes a change is as good as a rest, but he seems to thrive on the international scene and, and, you know, and seems to get the goals and, and plays... It's a different type of Richarlison that we see playing yeah, for Brazil. He did, he did rather amazing than for uh, at, uh, at Olympics games as well. They won. Brazil yeah. won. And he was a. Uh, plays as a nine, though, doesn't he? Plays at the nine. You look at this team, you look at the way they're set up, they play with one striker. But he doesn't play like that at Tottenham because of Harry Kane. He yeah. can't play like that. Yeah, but, so he plays uh, but with Son behind. I think uh, uh, I know Richarlison quite well because uh, we played together at Watford. And uh, uh, I think as a number nine, he performs better. He's strong. Yeah. He can score goals with his head. He can run, you he can seen, score the yeah. goals like he did at you know the first him. game. Where, where does he prefer playing? Where he does he prefer like playing? To, he prefers to, uh, to play outside. But in this Brazil squad, he's never going to get there if he plays from, from wide side. He prefers so to play from he, wide? Yeah. Oh, does he? To come yeah. inside, like uh, he normally plays. To dribble and cut inside. Dribble and, and, and finish. But uh, I believe, I, and I told him, yeah. I told him, your place is on a, as a number nine. It's, it's and, uh, he's for you. Obviously, you played with him, you know him quite well. We were talking about him the other night. Is he unfairly treated by the media at times? Because he has this sort of persona and a look on his face sometimes that he's grumpy, that he's miserable. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, even when he scores sometimes, <laughs> it, it doesn't look overly happy. And I think the English media picked up on this and they said, oh, he, he looks moody, he's causing yeah. problems. I, I he's don't, one of them players. I don't that think that's the case. He's, you, know, you, you know him better than we do. If he do. plays for your team and the fans love him, every other team dislike him. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the problem because the, the people love him. The mm. way he is, this this guy, he has a big heart. You you need to see what they he does uh, for Brazil people there. You know, he he help people, poor people, and uh, he is someone that deserve to be in this position today. Uh, I saw him from the first day that uh, he walked into the Watford doors, and and uh, he was he wanted some clips of of him today. Uh, I saw a few clips uh, before he joined Watford. He said, one day I want to play in Europe, and one day I will be successful, yeah. because uh, uh, I want to do something special for, for my people. And uh, uh, he's a special, not only on the pitch, outside the he's pitch. He's viewed very differently in Brazil exactly. compared to England. Exactly. He, mm. he is. People love him in Brazil. Uh, they are putting him now ahead of Neymar. <laughs> wow. Yeah, to be honest. Uh, his dream was to first... play in the Champions League, wasn't yeah, it? When he, first played for, when he first played his for Tottenham for the Champions League, the game. he had all his family there and he came out and the Champions League anthem came on, which we all know the Champions League anthem, and he cried. He stood there and cried as if, I've done it, I've finally played in the Champions League. Uh, uh, you, you know why uh, probably the people in England uh, doesn't like him? He's, uh, uh, you know, because uh, uh, he's very emotional. Yeah. And uh, he cannot uh, hold it inside of him. Always he, he tries to. And, and that's uh, good and bad. That's, yeah. yeah. So we, yeah, and again, maybe at Everton. Yeah, people, uh, maybe, look at maybe him. He's we, not strong enough. Yes, when we've, yeah. seen, when we've seen things go badly. Yeah. And, and again, and, and, yeah. I know him from a little bit Everton um, and my connections there. He's not like that, but I think the media, and that's what yeah. the media portray him as being moody, yeah. grumpy. No, can be a bit disruptive at times, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad you said that he's not. <laughs> he's not. He's not. Have, have you spoken to him since the tournament started? How is he feeling? What's, how's the whole group feeling I, I at the moment? I sent a message to him after his her first goal oh. because uh, my son. He's not. He's not had one back yet, though. It got it got blue ticked, but he's not had one back. <laughs> I did. I did. I can show you. Uh, we. He's very happy. He's uh, he's enjoying because he's he's living what. Uh, uh, he didn't expect that so quickly, mm. you know. He's living the dream. He's, he's living the dream. Yeah. He's living the dream.